guys, welcome to RT Studio. I'm Kason. I'm Kara, and we are going to show you guys how to make a Picasso hand today. Um, it's Hands with Flowers by Picasso, and we're going to do our own little take on it. We'll show you guys what we're going to do later, um, but we need to go over a few supplies you're going to need first. So, the first thing you're going to need is paper. What else are they going to need, Kason? Pencil. Pencils, good job. Sharpie. They're gonna need a sharpie or a black marker will work. Some watercolor. Watercolors. If you guys don't have watercolors, any kind of paint will work today. That doesn't have to be watercolors. We're just gonna use watercolors today. And a brush. You need a brush. And Maybe a few. Water. And water. So this is all you're gonna need today. And are you guys ready to get started? Let's get artsy. So for the Picasso hand and flowers, he used contour shapes. So we are going to be doing a contour hand and basically what a contour is, is just the outline of something. So we're not going to worry about the details that are in our hands, like our knuckles have little wrinkles in them or the color of our hands or shading. It's just the basic outline shape. So what is the easiest way to get an outline shape of your hand? You know, Kason? Nope. Well, it's super simple. We're just gonna trace your hand. Ah, ah. So we want to put thumbs up because these hands are going to be holding flowers and I'm going to use Kason's hand. Is that okay if I use your hand? <laughs> okay. So I use Kason's hand for his picture. Do you want to trace it or do you want me to trace it? Uh, if you want to trace it, sure. Sometimes it's hard to trace your own hand, especially if you're using the hand that you write with, the trace. So, can you lay it down real flat for me so I can get your arm in there too? Yep. Oh, are you comfortable? Kind of. <laughs> okay, so we want to just trace around the hand. So I'm just going to go around the fingertips with a pencil. We'll use a marker later to outline it. And we're going to come back around and we're going to come down and you can move your hand now. And I'm just, whoop, erase that a little bit. And then we're just going to take the line and go off the side of the paper. So we have a whole hand sticking out there. Can everybody see that? Looks like this. Awesome. So this is one way that you can do it and it's the easiest way. And then I'm going to show you another quick way. So that can be Kaysen's. He's going to start with that. Let me do it over here. Get them all situated. And then here is mine. So I'm going to do mine a different way. I'm going to start out with a, a C shape and I'm going to make one side longer and I'm going to curve and make lines coming down for that. So this is my pointer finger. So it's like I, if I was like this. So this is my pointer finger. I'm going to make another curve line underneath that and then a line and it's going to be equal to this one and then we're going to make another line just like a half a finger underneath this one so each time they're getting shorter and it's going to come back like this and then we got our pinky down here so that's going to come around like this and we're going to make that line go further curve up and then curve down. And so inside these we want to put finger to uh, fingernails too. So we're just going to make square shapes with curved edges. So we're going to start with a curved edge here. So I did my fingernails and now I'm going to take from the top above my um, where I started my C about a fingertip and I'm going to draw a line and I'm going to bring it all the way down. So that is our hand. 
Okay, so now we can start on our flower. So you see there are two different kinds here. So we've got one hand like this and the other hand is like this. So whichever one you feel comfortable with, you can do. Okay, so now we, what we are going to do is we're going to put our bouquet of flowers in. So we're going to start with the actual flower. And since it's spring and they're blooming, I don't know where you're from, but we are from Texas and the tulips are blooming right now and they look beautiful. So we are going to do beautiful tulips. Okay, so tulips are really easy. You're going to start out on the top and you're going to figure out where you want your flowers. We're going to do the stems later the stems can get really fun and I'm gonna come about four fingers above where I put my hand and I'm going to make a like I'm writing an in and then I'm gonna go zigzag over where I have three points and then I'm gonna just draw another one and then underneath that I'm gonna make a big U shape that connects those. And then I'm going to make another tulip, but I'm going to come a little further down. And this one I'm going to make go straight across. So again, start like I'm draw drawing a or writing a capital N, come down, and then we made three points and then a big U shape. And then I'm going to do another one up here. And that's our tulips. Okay, so now that I have my flower shapes drawn in, I am going to start with my watercolors. And... And get them open <laughs> and what I'm gonna do is take my brush dip it in some water I'm gonna use my green watercolors and I am going to take from the bottom of my tulip and I'm going to make green lines that go down I'm gonna stop them so right here I went to the tip of where my fingers were so it looks like my thumb is behind the flower. And then I'm going to have some coming out the bottom here. Okay. And if your stems are a little too light, you can add less water. And if they and more watercolor. And if they are a little too dark, you can add some more water. So I went ahead and did that, and I'm going to show you what we're going to do. Can I borrow yours, Kaysen? Sure. So this is Kaysen. I drew his flowers on here. I'm going to draw one of the sims for him so I can show you guys what we're doing. So I'm going to start with this one right here. So I'm just going to take this stem, and it's going to go, and it's going to stop where our pointer finger is sticking up, and then we're going to have some flowers coming, some stems coming down below it. So this one looks like it's going to grab the flowers. Okay. Okay, so now I have my stems and Kaysen has his stems and see how we went and stopped where each finger was and so it looks like the hand is in front of the flowers and the flowers are behind. And the same with here, it looks like the flowers are inside the hand. So we are done with our sim, so now we can paint our flowers. So we're just going to do the same thing and you can paint your flowers in any way you want. I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna start with a kind of turquoise looking blue flower. I'm gonna start with a blue tulip here. And if you want, you can make the outline darker. So you can go with a darker blue color and outline the tulip. 
and that makes it look real pretty. So we'll just color paint the rest of our tulips. The last step is I'm just going to outline my hand in a black marker. So I'm just going to take the outline, really make the hand pop. So I went ahead and I outlined my flowers along with my hand in my black marker and I signed it. So go ahead and sign your art and let's see our let's see how Kason's turned out. Kason, jump. Whoop. Okay, they can't see them. There we go. So we can see them both side by side. Here is Kaysen's and here is mine. So you see they both turned out, turned out really awesome. And you don't have to um, do the same color flowers as we did. You can do any colors you want. And if you guys want to add fingernail polish to the nails or whatever you want to do, get um, as creative as you guys want. But we are glad that you followed along with us step by step today and did this awesome um, Picasso tutorial. And if you guys enjoyed this and you want to see more of our how to paints and how to draws, you can subscribe. Make sure you hit the little bell button so you don't miss a thing. And also, if you would like to share your art with us, we love seeing your art. You can do that by sending it to us at www.artcstudio.com or sharing it to us at our Instagram at artcstudio. So we hope you guys have a good week and a nice start to spring. And we will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.